It was long ago, the night that faded and turned September 24th into a solid September 25th, just past the brink of midnight. Baby Chocolate, a tiny but mighty snail, enters a bar in the heart of the Prismora dimension, the tipsy Tesseract. What awaited him was unassuming, but his choice of beverage, I'll just say, was divine. Yes, hello. I have never been here before. It's a nice place. Mm, could I get a sludge fudge with extra cherries? On the rocks. Why, yes, of course. The spore that was graced with the honor of a grave task that was crafting the legendary sludge fudge, complemented with extra cherries, began pouring a plethora of ingredients in such a flamboyant fashion as he clearly showcased his mixologist skills. Paying no mind at all, Baby Chocolate thought to himself, oh, I really hope they don't forget the cherries. They always forget the cherries. How could you forget that? They're so bright. And, mm, what are they even called? Masochist? I don't even know how to spell that word yet. Married Casino? Moschino? Your drink here, sir! As the spory gentleman sat down a carefully crafted drink with utmost perfection that was indeed crafted specially for this respected snail, Baby Chocolate himself, there was something severely wrong. As Baby Chocolate set his eyes upon such a craft, it became incredibly apparent that... This not my drink. This your drink? No. Your drink here, sir. This really is... You know what? This is not my drink. I ordered the sludge fudge with extra cherries. First off, there is only one cherry. Second... But... Your drink! And so it was. The greatest of all offenses possible to make against the noble baby chocolate. The drink in question? It was definitely incorrect. A price must have been paid, surely. All in the midst of incessant arguing, baby chocolate and the bartender both lost their perception of their peripherals. Who could have guessed what could have happened? A robbery! A kidnapping! A reason for the bar to eventually go into bankruptcy? No. Instead, something even more predictable? Another customer that takes a seat beside Baby Chocolate. What did you do with this drink? Oh yes, your drink. I take the sludge and the fudge. It was well mixed, then it was carefully delivered to you. But there is no sludge, and there's no fudge. I don't even see a single cherry. Oh no. But sir, your drink. This is your drink. Not his drink. Not my drink. Are you trying to say I don't know how to do my job? Well, I ain't saying you should be promoted. Oh my god! Yeah, buddy! You're gonna get it now! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah, well, you know what? You know what? That... Oh, hello, sir. What can I get for you today? Yeah, Mr. Sir, I would take a, um, um, sludge fudge with extra cherries. That's my drink. He. <laughs> no way, buddy! This is my drink! How do you know? I have to feed my babies. It's like an ancestral thing, you know? Wow, I do know. Say, you got great taste. Yeah, I'm pregnant seahorse. I know the way. It all started some time long ago, you know. I I've worked as a bartender before. Yeah, I used to make these babies all the time. I mean, um, the beverage. The sludge fudge with e extra ice. It's the sludge fudge with extra cherries. Sir, that is the drink you ordered. Nobody asked you, Mr. Sir. I mean, can I please get my drink now? So, you were a bartender? Oh, yeah. And, and you know, I was actually the CEO for this bar here. Um, the Tipsy Tesseract. Yeah, um, yeah, that was my idea. You are messing with me? Oh, so now you want to tussle with me? What I thought. Anyways, my young boy, you need to come with me. Your father, Herschel, sent me here. My daddy? Yes, so now don't ask too many questions. I am far too old and I do not have the patience. Wow, I am actually so confused right now. Where do we need to go? Through here, my youngest child. What a mysterious transaction. Baby Chocolate had not heard from his father in many years. As a matter of fact, Baby Chocolate had been adventuring through many dimensions with the ambitious goal of seeking out the best sludge fudge with extra cherries. Something about pregnant seahorse made the snail's heart call out to him, encouraging him to step into this portal and yet another exciting adventure. I'm... I'm going in. Ah! Mr. Sirs, your tabs have not been paid! Your tabs have not been paid! Oh, how am I ever going to afford a place of my own? All I ever wanted was a big house, to take trips with all expenses paid for, a girl of my own, car insurance 
into the sea of the unknown. The young baby chocolate and the honorable pregnant seahorse venture to destinations mystical and unknown. What does fate have in store for these two lads? It was true that pregnant seahorse knew baby chocolate's father, Herschel. It was not true that he was ever the CEO or the founder of the tipsy tesseract. The only essence of truth in this curious exchange was that it was predetermined, and that it was fate. Fate. 